Right, number four just got out. Um, it's raining outside. It's kind of gloomy. But it was fun today. Um, they started with a quiz, which is most dreaded among all students. But I got to grade them. And, you know, that, it's a lot of fun putting pink X's on people's paper. But we've, I talked to Mr. Coward a lot today about um, how the students are doing. And I learned that in a couple weeks, they'll be doing a benchmark, which is to assess basically how they're going to do on their end of course. Which, weird thing, uh, pretty sure I still thought the gateway was the math end of course, but apparently it's not. It's the end of course. So, slap in the face. I'm stupid. Well, so he wants to know how they're going to do on the end of course because I think Mr. Howard's like the only algebra teacher and if they do bad, put two and two together and so he was <laughs> talking to him, he, you know, he smiles all the time, sure, but he has a nervous smile and you can tell which smile is which and I can he's um he's very nervous is is uh I know he's really anticipating and very anxious about this end of course and the benchmark and cuz not that I'll make a generalization I don't think teachers get nervous about tests because they think the kids are gonna do bad they just I don't know we they just want them to I don't know they just worry about it and I can tell so hopefully I'm gonna be able to come in the closer it gets to end of course the more I'm gonna be really really helping really like he needs me like, he didn't tell me he needs me, but I could tell. I could tell. So, I'm important. Just letting everyone know. Um, they learned a lesson. I, I graded all the papers. <laughs> it's really funny. Middle schoolers, these kids, they seem very mature, okay? I'll tell you that. If you knew them, like I knew them already, I know them pretty well, uh, they're real mature. However... That doesn't mean that they're mature. And uh, they, their main problem is they can't read directions. <laughs> but it'll say the slope is 3. And yet they put the 3 as the y-intercept. Which, I mean, it's easy to do. But if you read it, it's really easy to get it right. So... I don't know. Mr. Coward might have been disappointed about that, but you know, nervous smile. Anyway, so I mean, we're basically here. We're just working for these test scores, and I'm. He's in a couple of weeks. He's gonna take me, and we're gonna look at the data and see who needs help, who is getting it real well and we're gonna I mean it's basically it's <laughs> I don't know as Mr. Coward said wipe off the sweat so but it, it's it's good it's good and I like this it's a lot of fun I hope everyone else is having as much fun as I am so I'll see you guys next week I'm not gonna be able to do this so I guess I'll see you in my car in a couple weeks. Haha, <laughs> pun intended, not. Bye.